Good morning, Winfrey. My name is Tony Martin. I'm a worship leader with uh, the Praise Team, and we're here today for uh, today's devotional. Today is going to be a little bit different uh, because today we have two guests with us. We have Sarah Labrini and we have Nick Henry. Both of them have worship, worshiped here at, uh, at Winfrey on occasions. Um, they have their own home churches. But we're here today because Sarah has just released, recently released uh, her new EP entitled Strength Again. And she has an upcoming concert here, uh, which is going to be at the end of July, July 31st. And so this is kind of a promotional uh, video and interview uh, that we wanted to share with you. And so let me just introduce uh, Nick and Sarah. Um, how y'all doing? Hey. Hey, Tony. Doing good. good. Thank you for having us. Oh, absolutely. It's great having you. Um, what would you say is the driving force behind this particular EP? Driving force behind this album was really, and this I hope this isn't cliche, but really I felt like the Lord was leading me to make this EP. Um, because they're songs that were written out of really difficult experiences in my life. And I felt like God was saying, I've comforted you through these things. I want you to use these songs, record them so that other people can be comforted too. I think there's, I can't remember the reference for this verse, but it's in 1 Corinthians, I believe. And it says that um, the Lord comforts us so we can comfort others. So that was the main impetus, was really just I felt like God was really leading me to make this music, and um, we were able to record it and get it out there. And ever since then, I mean, it's only been a month, but I've met a couple people who I didn't even know who somehow had a connection to the EP. Um, and they said it's helped with their anxiety, or the Lord has like been using it to bring them through difficult times with their family. Um, so it's already serving its purpose, which is making me so happy. Um, but I think we all kind of have, it, whether it's a health issue or not, like a need, we realize our need for God's strength. And so that's really where the song um, came from. And the rest of the album kind of flows out of that. So it starts with Dove, which is like a prayer for recognizing that we need God's help, but not really sure what we need his help in. And just asking the Holy Spirit to pray for us and kind of take us through some of those things that maybe we don't even remember, but they've affected us. And then it kind of goes through the, the healing process of opening up more towards God. And then at the end, it's like kind of a celebration of God giving us peace. There's still more work to be done, but um, it's kind of like a little mini healing journey. Well, for those of you who have not surmised, uh, these two are together. Uh, <laughs> Nick here is, is Sarah's significant other. And I just want to ask Nick a question. Um, from your perspective, what has Sarah's journey been like? Um, a lot of times when we think about you know, our walk with our walk with God and some mm -hmm. of the things that we've gone through, we see them through a very, you know, uh, small perspective. And sometimes it's good to get some feedback from other people who are close to you. Mm -hmm. So I'd just like to find out from you, what's it been like uh, for you watching Sarah go through this process, particularly with the songwriting? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, particularly with the songwriting, um, it's just been amazing to see her uh, how well she articulates that faith um, that she does have, even through the struggles. Um, because I think faith is is not something that prevents doubts, it's just some, it's something that gets us through them. Um, that combined with this, this journey that I think we've both been growing on in, in increasing different parts of our faith. I know for her, she said, like, I've helped her a little bit more with the headier side, but for me, she's helped me so much more with the, with the heart side of it, um, because that was something that um, up until we started seeing each other, honestly, had not been all that active in my life, um, because I just, got, you know, I was kind of by myself and just kind of doing what I knew. Right. Um, but she helped open me, open my eyes back to that, and it's honestly been such an amazing journey. Um, so 
yeah, I've, I've loved seeing both of our faiths grow mm -hmm. um, with each other. Cool. That's great. I've got one more question before, you know, before we play um, uh, Peace, Trouble, Soul. Um, how did you come up with the title of the album? Prayer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but really, I prayed a lot about what to name the album, and um, it just kind of seemed obvious to name it Strength again at some point. I think originally I had been thinking about Abide, mm -hmm. but I was like, this album isn't, uh, yeah, it's about abiding, but it's more about God being in, in us and working to give us strength again. I mean, it's basically, the whole album is just like prayer, mm -hmm. just like crying out to God for help. Um, and again, sometimes car crying out about things we don't even know we need. We're just like, we know we need help. So it's really just about, yeah, I mean, it was just a lot of prayer. I did pray too about which songs to put on the album because like you know, we've done a lot of other songs um, together that I've written that aren't on this. And there were some that kind of fit with it, but we could only do so many, and I felt like these were the ones, which was sometimes surprising. I'm like, really, that one? <laughs> but it's been cool to hear how like people have connected with different, different ones in, in the album. And um, So yeah, I think my hope is that people will use this in their personal time with God or just in quiet moments. Um, it's not necessarily, I mean, I'd love for people to just party to it, but I doubt anyone's going <laughs> to do that because it's not really a party CD. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's there for us when we're not having a great season of life. Um, but it's also there to just kind of remind us like we're always going to need God and we're always going to need his strength. And, um, yeah, I hope that people are able to to feel God's presence when they listen to it. Um, okay, so I guess what we should do now is just go ahead and give everybody a taste of what is on this album. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to do Peace, Trouble, Soul, and I hope everybody enjoys.
And I won't let go. 